So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Rendi from Taliska Learnings and in this video we'll talk about JSTL. So the prerequisite to learn JSTL is servlets and JSP. So if you have basic knowledge of servlet and JSP, this video will be helpful. So what is JSTL? So JSTL, so let's write it here. So JSTL stands for JSP Standard Tag Library. Okay, now why we use this is because, you know, when you work with servlet, so we write HTML code inside Java code, and that's not that helpful, right? And then in JSP, uh, in JSP we write, we write Java code. So inside HTML code, we write Java code. But still, as a designer, we are not that comfortable to work with Java code, right? So if you can convert your Java code into HTML-like code, it will be much easier for designers to, to write the code. It will be easier for them to maintain the code. It is easier for them to change the code, right? So that's why we have this concept of JSTL. And if you see the output of JSTL or the code of JSTL, it's more like HTML, right? So let's try to do that. So to explain that, how JSTL works, let me go with an example here and I will create a one more, I will create, okay, for that I will just simply, uh, okay, I will create a variable which is string, I will say name equal to, I will put my name, Naveen, and then I will send this name to the JSV file. So let me first call JSV file and how do you call it, we'll say request, or request dispatcher, so it is request dispatcher. <coughs> We'll say rd equal to new, not new, but request dot get request dispatcher. And we have to mention the name of the JSP, right, which is display dot JSP, right? So what we are doing here is we are calling a JSP file from a, from a servlet file. And we can say rd dot forward, and we can pass those two objects. So what we are doing is we are creating a string here, and then we are calling this JSP page. Now in this JSP page, we'll try to fetch that string, that value, which is name here. Okay, first of all, when you're sending it, you have to make sure that you add that value somewhere. So yeah, I can use a request object or we can also use session object. We'll say this is label. Again, we can have any, any label here and we can say I want to send name. So I'm, I'm using a label as label and then I'm sending this name. So in this name, I will be having Naveen, right? Now, if I run this code, of course, it will call your JSP file, right? But we are, not, we, are doing, we are doing nothing here. Now, how do you fetch that value? So before fetching the value, I will simply print hello world, okay? And let's, let's run this code. If I run this code on a server, again, I have a server here, and I'm just calling that. Uh, it will take some time. Okay. Yeah, so you can see we have we are calling a servlet, which is demo servlet, and this servlet will call your JSP. Now, since I'm running this for the first time, it will take some time for your JSP to get converted into servlet and then showing you the output. So you got the output as hello world here, but I don't want hello world. I want to print, I want to print Naveen here. Now, how do we do that? So for that, we have to use some Java code, right? In fact, we can write Java code here. And to write Java code, we use the scriptlet tags. And inside this, we can write, uh, we can fetch that value, we can store that value in string, we'll say string name equal to request dot get attribute, get attribute, and you can mention what type of, what type of value you are sending. So I'm sending a label, which you have to fetch. Again, this will return you an object, so let me just convert that into string, so I will say to string, right? Now, once you got the string, we can say out dot print ln, and we can say name. So what we are doing here is we are fetching value from, I mean, we are, we are, we have this value Naveen, which is going to the JSP and then we are fetching the value from the request object and then we are printing it. Again, since we are using request object here to set the attribute, we will be using request object to get the attribute, right? Let's run this. Let me just run this once again and you can see we got the output as Naveen. Now why we are getting Naveen is because in JSP, we are fetching the value which is sent and then we are printing it. This is one way. But if you can see as a designer, you are comfortable with this lines of code. But the moment you see a Java code, you might not feel confident about it. Then Java says, okay, chill, we can have one more way here. We can use, uh, we can use something called as expression language. So expression language was introduced in JSP later and how it is used. So we can use a dollar sign here, 
with your curly brackets and inside your curly brackets you can simply mention the label okay whatever label you are sending there so if you are sending label here we have to mention that here okay so if you say dollar uh, and curly brackets label it will fetch that value okay let me show you that let me just say once again and you can see we got two Naveen the first Naveen we got because of this Java code the second Naveen you got because of this line here okay now let me just remove this Java code here I don't want Java code so using this one line of code we can get our output which is Naveen now this is expression language okay but expression language was created just to just to I mean just to get used inside JSTL so if you are using JSTL then you can use this and how it was how it was introduced uh, so what we can do is I mean we can we can have one more way of JSTL way here so in order to use JSTL we need to use some special tags example in JSTL we have a out tag instead of using out object we can use a out tag but the problem is out tag is not available inside HTML right it's, it's a custom tag and whenever you want to use custom tag we have to use a tag library right so we have to add a library for JSTL now which library we'll be using here so we'll use percentage add the rich we'll say tag lib <coughs> and we need to use a JSTL tag okay now question arise which uh, how to use JSTL tag here that we'll see in the next video the point to remember here is we are using a uh, we can use EL instead of using your Java tag to use to print something on the server. Now again, uh, it's not compulsory to have that in request object itself. We can also have that in session object. We can also have that in page object because you know, right? In JSP, we have different objects, so you can have this label in any of the scope. It may be in request scope. It may be in session scope. It may be in page scope or page context. It can be anywhere. So that's how we use EL in JSP. In the next video, we'll see how to add the tag library in JSTL to use it. Thank you so much. And make sure you subscribe the channel before that.